everyone. How are you going? Welcome to Sizzling Saturday, uh, Hawksmoor edition. We're here today and uh, we're going to be cooking up a Hawksmoor feast feasting box today. Uh, these are available for Father's Day. So, yeah. Um, and I'll tell you a little bit more about um, those at the, in, in a minute. Also, too, I'm cooking on the uh, charbroil gas to coal, uh, and, which is our major sponsor today. And they have a bit of a giveaway. So we've got a bit of an accessories giveaway, which I'll announce a little bit later. So, uh, yeah. So while everyone's here, uh, a quick apologies from Jack. He's, uh, he's got to, uh, some, some bad news from a friend. So he's, uh, 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 he's taking the afternoon for a bit of a break. Okay. So best wishes, Jack. Hope everything's okay and sorts itself out fairly soon. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna uh, show through everybody uh, how to cook uh, one of the lovely steaks provided by Hawksmoor restaurants. So, just quickly then. First of all, as you know in every show, and cheers Jack, if you're there mate. Uh, I'm gonna have a beer for you if you're watching buddy. But uh, yeah, Hawksmoor Lager, exclusive to Hawksmoor, made by the Harbour Brewery. Uh, Really, really good stuff. Let me have a quick uh, crack at this one here. Uh, who else have we got? Cancel. All right. So yeah, have a quick, uh, quick Hawksmoor lager before I get into the steaks here. Uh, Hawksmoor restaurants. They've uh, have a range now of uh, boxes online where they provide. Um, uh, there's a range of sort of feasting boxes. There's also all sorts of special occasion boxes, all different prices, etc. Hawksmoor.com, and uh, uh, you can order them online, and they're available for national delivery in the UK. All sorts of combinations, and keep in mind, it's the wonderful, wonderful food, drinks, wine, etc. From the Hawksmoor. So let's give this one a quick taste before we go too far. Ah, smashing, four percent. Hawksmoor lager, mate. Great session lager. Great for cooking barbecues. Uh, I can't wait to uh, 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 tuck into that whilst uh, cooking some steaks. Now I know you all want to see something pretty amazing first, so let me show you something really, really amazing first. Hang on. This is from the Hawksmoor feasting box. Okay. So if you can see that there, we have one porterhouse. We have a, a ribeye and we have a fillet. And for the, in, in a minute, I've let them rest for a moment. They're seasoned. They've been out of the fridge for about two hours. Uh, I'm going to follow the instructions in the book and uh, get them cooking on the grill. But yeah, they've been resting and they've been seasoned. Now. Let me do one quick thing here first. Just get rid of this thing. It's uh, messing up adventures. So yeah. Into that one. All right. Now, the nice thing about Hawksmoor is they give you all of the instructions. Now, when you get the box, you can get like uh, there's all sorts of there's QR codes and everything, and everything's online. Or if you're like me, they bought the book, right? Uh, and it's got Kraken instructions and loads of Kraken recipes in it. There's a bit of a quote here from Heston Blumenthal. It says Hawksmoor at home should be covered in fingerprints and splashes of food as a great hands-on book to use every day. There you go, folks. My suggestion, get a hold of one of those. Got some great, great recipes. I'll be cooking the steak here, the T-bone, and, oh, hang on, I might have to turn this down a little bit. I got the green peppercorn sauce in there as well. That's gonna go down lovely on the steak. But again, recipes all in the book there. So, first of all, whew, cheers Jack, it's a sweltering day. Who else is out there? No guests today. Ah, good point, good point. Well, at 4.30 today, we'll be hooking up with the uh, executive chef of uh, uh, Hawksmoor, a guy by the name of Matt Brown. So keep an eye at 4.30 to watch out. We'll be uh, having a good chat to him and uh, he'll tell us all about the steaks, where they get the steaks from, how they cook the steaks, and uh, a few hints and tips for us uh, barbecue fans out there. So yeah, yep, yum, green peppercorn. Loving every morsel, how are you? I keep seeing you online, love your work, mate. Love your work. Anyway. 
So, he's tinkered in his change. He's got this back and across uh, movement, which is a lot more... Steaks again. This is about to go on the barbecue. All right, and I'm going to do the, the, the porterhouse here first, okay? So, there's instructions in the book. Now, the way to cook this one is get your grill nice and hot. So, I've got my gas coal here going lovely, lovely and hot. And the trick is, if you want to if you want to understand how hot it is and if it's ready to grill, is if you put your hand near the grill, if it's too painful to hang out. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so within three seconds, if you can't hold your hand there, that's that's a hot grill. So, what that means is I'm going to put this uh, T-bone on there. I love you, man. Oh, you always inspire me. <laughs> Chef Noza, how are you? Mate, love your work too. Always, uh, yeah. Thanks for your support, buddy. Anyway. Now, one thing I might do first, see the little bit of fat on the edge? I might just... uh. Sear that off a bit, you know, give that a bit on the hot side down there. How's that? Just get a bit of that fat sort of, you know, clearing away. Ooh, that's really hot, isn't it? Put that over here. So cool, tall figure, right handed. That's nice. Now they say there's lots of different theories on cooking steaks, right? So uh, let me uh, swing this. Put it on the other side. Let me swing this around a little bit. Lots of different theories on cooking steaks, right? So uh, reverse searing is if you've got a little nice thick steak. But in this case, what they suggested here, and if you follow the instructions in the book, is just give it a good flip every now and then. Lots of theories saying people, you know, one flip, so on, so forth. You know, uh, but uh, this one I'm going to flip over just to make sure it gets a nice even heat all the way through. That's lovely. That is one lovely steak. They're dry aged steaks specific from the uh, uh, specifically sourced for the Hawksmoor restaurant. And uh, we'll get Matt later at 4.30. He can tell us all about Uh Moonier HK, how can I light my barbecue quicker? What have you got? Charcoal. Try some uh, uh, odorless and natural fire lighters, if you like. Or get yourself a chimney, okay? Erifrim, can we hear the sizzle? Can you see the sizzle? I'm going to let that sizzle away for another few minutes. And, you know, for, for everybody new out there, one of the best things you can do is a uh, uh, instant read thermometer, okay? That's the uh, perfect gift for anybody that's just starting out. As well as that, you can use it every single time and you'll get it straight. Country Wood Smoke, how are you, mate? Nice one, mate. Uh, uh, Jack's not in today, but uh, he, he passes on his regards anyway. Hope you're all well, Country Wood Smoke. So anyway, best thing you can do, best purchase you can get, get yourself an instant read thermometer, okay? I'll get that one on nice on there. I'm going to cook it medium rare, and I'm also uh, 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 going to crisp it with a little bit of butter uh, in a minute as we get to the final stages. But I'm going to flip it a couple of times. Look at that. That's, that's, it's going to be a bit tricky to see there. Can we do that? Whoa. All right. That is one magical steak. Uh, there's another couple of steaks there. I've got a ribeye and a fillet, but I'll do them separately uh, as, as, as I go on. Also, too, as the studio audience appears. Hello, studio audience. <laughs> No worries. So, yeah. So, yeah. Studio audience, would you like a beer? Would you like a Hawksmoor Lager, sir? Come and help yourself. So, yeah. Letting that one uh, grill away nice nice and gently there. Well, it's actually on quite a high heat. Tuck in. Tuck in, champion. Tell us what you think. It's, a, it's, it's not a bad little lager. So, yeah. 
nothing better than steak on a barbecue. Yeah, mate, I've found uh, in all of this Instagramness and all of this time I've spent on Instagram, the biggest thing that I like is a damn good steak. How's that? I'm uh, a, a big beer. fan. Well, followed by a damn good beer and washed down by a damn good wine. So, <laughs> so check out hawksmore.com. They've got, uh, for everybody here in the UK, check them out. They've got a load of boxes ready for Father's Day in the UK. There are uh, uh, all sorts of ranges. They've got one course, three course, desserts, wines, cocktails, everything included. Magic. And, and all of the instructions to help you create the uh, Hawksmore experience at home. And, uh, you know, something's a bit separate that's on the line. I suggest you buy one of these. Magic, magic, magic book. All right, let me give this one a bit of a flip. Here we go. Uh oh. Studio audio, so I'm going to need a uh, board. Oh, okay. Let's have a 380 Let's look. <laughs> <laughs> Who can see that searing away there? Man, that is lovely. You know, I'm letting a bit of that fat burn off nice. Let's give it a bit of an internal temperature check. There we go, we've got, at the moment, ooh, the moment we've hit 42 degrees in the middle of that steak there. So, where are we going to go with that one? All right. Internal temperature for a medium rare steak is about 54, but... You want to uh, 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 take that off a little bit earlier and rest it. That's going to rest for a good 10, 15 minutes, okay? And uh, it'll come up a few degrees then, all right? Rest it. Uh, there's lots of different uh, theories on resting. Lots of different theories on resting. Some people like to cover it. If it's really cold outside, yeah, cover it in a bit of loose foil, maybe with a couple of holes in it. But uh, yeah, if uh, if you're letting it rest and it's inside and it's sort of room temperature, then, uh, you know, rest it uncovered. So yeah, anyway, what else have we got going on here? All right, I'm gonna do those other couple of steaks in a minute. All right, what else have we got going on here? Quick swig. Well, we also had a competition today from our uh, sponsor, our main sponsor, which is Charbroil. And it's for a load of char Charbroil accessories. So we had the random competition winner choose a... Oh, here we go. Uh, algorithm, and it's come up. And who's, who's won? According to the random competition chooser algorithm, that cowboy, that cowboy, are you watching, mate? Ooh. How are you? If you're watching, mate, give us a wave. But yeah, there's a, uh, a whole set of uh, charball accessories. Most of them, it looks like most of them you can use on the any grill, like the apron, gloves. There's a chicken, uh, a beer can chicken accessory in there, roasting rack. Uh, they've got a really good board that fits into a tray that you can use for roasting, and then the cutting board fits into the tray. Smashing. Anyway, so yeah, congratulations to that cowboy. We'll uh, be in touch a little bit later. Let me just check on this porter house here. Country with nice warm day, 48, 48, and it'll go perfect, mate. Yep. There we go. How's that, folks? Could have spun it round less and got some nice grill tats, but to me, that's a pretty damn good stain. What do you think, folks? How'd I go there, Marcus? What do you reckon? Gonna let that rest for a bit. I took that off. At 50 degrees anyway, so maybe maybe a degree late, but oh, 
dry aged steaks, when the steaks are out, you can still smell them a little bit. It gets that nice blue cheese smell. And I can still smell, smell that on the fillet and the ribeye, which I'll do again in a minute. But boom, I'm gonna do a bit of a slicing up with those later. And add them with a bit of peppercorn sauce as well. All right, so what else have we got to do here? Yeah, I mean, Marcus, what are you doing? You want to have a, you want to have a quick chat? You want to join up live, bro? How's that? Go on, Marcus, what are you doing? Is, uh, 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 you're not too big barbecue tips. It's, it's a nice sunny day. We've got the beer in the hand, relaxed. Jack, sorry everybody, he's uh, off at the moment. He's off with a mate, but uh, uh, with a issue with a mate. Hopefully that sorts out soon. But uh, yeah. Hope you're all enjoying your day. Hope you're all getting out and barbecuing and uh, make it, making the most of the lovely weather. In case you can't hear it in the background too. Any of you guys cricket fans? Wait. Oh, Kiwis in the uh, Kiwis in the Palms playing cricket in the background. Test match special. If you want to, if you really want to enjoy your barbecue, then uh, 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 there's nothing like listening to a bit of test match special whilst uh, grilling away, listening to the cricket, listening to a nice long test match. So far, third day, you know. And if you don't, and if you're not watching the cricket and you don't know anything about cricket, check it out. What a game. Hello, Here we mate. go. <laughs> Marcus, how are you, mate? Right. Yeah, I'm good, buddy. How are you? All right, all right. Uh, I, I think I think Jack will be jealous, you know, that, uh, you know, you, you, you've stepped in whilst he's away, but he's, uh, he's <laughs> with a mate at the moment. But how are you going, buddy? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good, mate. I'm good. Yeah, I, I was admiring your shirt and, uh, yeah. Just thought I'd say hi. So yeah, I, I I picked it up the other day. I was down in what they call the uh, uh, the the Stratford Riviera, and oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> it was a <laughs> Grab, grabbed a couple oh, of no. It's 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 definitely a, a, a men of our vintage. I'm I'm guessing you're similar vintage to myself, and um, you know we 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 carry our own style, don't we? And we plow our own furrow. So um, it's nice to see see you uh, you going you know a good direction as well. So you know it's, it suits barbecues. And if you if you drop a bit of, a bit of uh, barbecue sauce or some fat down your top, uh, Hawaiian hides it. It's great. <laughs> Exactly, exactly. It beats the old white yeah. T-shirt, doesn't it? You know, and as long yeah. as it's not polyester in the poly cotton mix, I'm happy, mate. You know, absolutely. Yeah, that state looked banging, mate. That was really good, really nice. Yeah. So in a minute, we're going to chat to uh, 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 Matt Brown, the the executive chef of Hawksmoor. He's going to tell us all about those. Oh, yeah. So looking forward oh, lovely. to having a yarn about that. But uh, yeah, hey, what yeah. are you doing? You've you, you've just opened up a. A, a new place down there, a barbecue school. Give us a give yes, us a... yeah. So I've I've been I've been teaching people sort of barbecue uh, sort of five or six years now from home, and it kind of um, it's turned into like a full time sort of thing for me now. And um, I was doing it from home, and it wasn't ideal. And um, so I, uh, there's a farm shop three minutes away, and they you know they they made a space for me a great area and uh just so i can teach full-time really now and it's brilliant oh congratulations mate congratulations mate oh, you know, thank how, you. How, 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 how do people book how do they find you and how do they book a session like that for those uh, so it's uh ukbarbecueschool.com i mean we're, we're pretty busy to be honest there was a there was an article in the times last week um one of their reporters came down and did a gave a great review on it and um that's kept us pretty busy as well so but um yeah you know um, ukbarbecueschool.com and uh I, it's 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 lovely it's you know it's between some pigs and there's a pond there with some ducks on it's just a lovely spot on a farm shop and as you can see devon's pretty sunny at the moment so uh, i had a, a class yesterday and it was a, a group of mates and they all had uh, nice shirts on uh, nice hawaiian shirts on which was a good thing uh, i've got a class tomorrow and yeah most weekends i'm doing classes but you know it's it's great, you know. I love, I love it. I can pass on my love of of barbecue to other people and reach them. Oh, congratulations, mate! No, that's really cool. It's good yeah, to see you. that you know 
what's what's become yeah. a little bit of a hobby has really sort of taken off for you, mate. Uh, yeah, uh, definitely, uh, definitely. I see, so, like probably like yourself, I see so many people who really struggle with the basics of barbecuing, and you know they they you know how to set the coals up, and people are really struggling with that. And I like yourself i want to help people to barbecue better same with jack as well you know there's a there's a a good a good movement there of Im- improving you know people in the uk how how they barbecue giving people the skills to 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 to, to feel good about barbecuing nice nice yeah yeah no that's that's sort of where i started ages ago it was really well not so much to teach yeah. people, but more to just to encourage people to get out there and yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. you know find find folks like yourself and and and, and uh, yeah you know, get out and give it a go. You know, I, I think the yeah, yeah. Thing about learning is, you know, making it. Yeah. And, you know, you're not going to learn. You know, what watching too yeah. many YouTube videos. I don't think you've got to give it a go. No, no. No? YouTube, YouTube, and stuff like books. You know, a uh, 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 good way to sort of learn. But you, you know, people say like, you know, when they come to me, I've been able to taste it and smell it, and you know, see what I do, and you know, as much as YouTube's great for those things that. They, they get a real sense of real when they're doing it there with me and you know um that's hard to replicate it's like it's like when how do you know you, when your brisket's better we all say oh, when it probes like butter and i mean i haven't ever probed butter really i don't know if you have but um you know it's it's um you know people go oh is it soft butter or butter from the fridge i don't know you know so you actually show them how it feels like and they go oh, yeah that's that's how it feels so then they understand you know and and that's good. That's good. <laughs> perfect. Perfect. Yeah. No, mate. Yeah. No. E- exactly. There's nothing like sort of seeing it all in action, and and you know, getting right. a few hint tips, and just asking those sort of almost silly questions as well. Like you know, yeah, uh, yeah. You, well, should should you do this or should you do that or you know, um, yeah. and, and having someone in like yourself, mate. No, well done. Well done, mate. Yeah. No, no. I really, really honest, I, mate. I had a guy. Cheers, thank you. I had a guy in one of my classes and he said, oh, you know, I'm, I'm 70 and I've been burning barbecue for 50 years and my family got fed up, so put me on your class. And, um, like, literally five, ten minutes in, he started, like, welling up and getting a bit emotional. And he said, look, you know, you've shown me exactly what I've been doing wrong all these years. And I see lots of people struggle with that, you know, the, that first, you know, the, the basics. Then once once you got the hang of it, it's just cooking then, really, isn't it? So, you know, getting people on that first step of the ladder is, is really important. It is, it is. Yeah, no, definitely, definitely. I, yeah. I, I like to give people lots of ideas, too, you know? Yeah, yeah. You know, for me, my favourite is steak, you know, that's hands down. Yeah, yeah. My, yeah you know, me too. You know, and I think for a lot of people that's it. But also to like things like barbecue oysters, octopus, yeah. uh, seafood, fish. You know, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 pork ribs, all sorts of things, yeah. mate. I, you know, but uh, at the end of the day, I think yeah. I always circle around and come back, back into yeah, yeah. the state of mind. Yeah, you know? absolutely. You, you know, you you need to have a road trip and come down to Devon at some point. You'd be more than welcome. Get you and get you and Jack over. Um, we can have a bit of a cook up, and uh, that'd be great. Have a have a boys' weekend and uh, um, cook some food. I think I think that'd be good fun. <laughs> okay, mate. We might we, we we might have to do a sizzling Saturday down there, champion. How's that sound? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that sounds really good. That sounds good to me. Yeah, yeah, always up for that. I saw your little boat trip recently, and that looked good fun as well. So, uh, you know, it's uh, it's uh, that that looked a lot of fun. So, yeah, come come for a little road trip down to Devon, and you know, we'll, we'll have a have a bit of a laugh and cook some food. Perfect, mate. Perfect. Yeah, no, would would love to. Would love to. All right. Well, I'm on the yeah. little bit of the clock here. I've got to get ready yeah, for. Yeah, you take um, care, buddy. Yeah, sure. cheers. Yeah, but, uh, keep, keep doing what you're doing. It's great, inspiring so many people. So keep doing it, mate. You're smashing it. So, yeah, really good stuff. No worries, and you too, you too. Congratulations, yeah. and yeah. everybody, check out Marcus. Sign up for his barbecue barbecue school. He's down in Devon. There you go. Perfect staycation oh, for him. Thank you, you brother. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You take care. Keep 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 on with the shirts as well. They're awesome. So, <laughs> <laughs> cheers, buddy. Take care. Cheers, buddy. Bye. Have a great Bye. weekend. Cheers, you too. All right. Okay, everybody. So one last little. I'm going to flash the steak again. Here we go. That. Whoa. For everybody that didn't see that, that is a uh, a, a pork small steakhouse, porterhouse uh, from their pork small at home collection so make sure you log on check them online hawksmoor.com 
check out the steaks that they've got going there. I grill this particular one. 